Good morning all. Well, <laughs> good morning for me anyway. I promised I would show you all how I created my new raised bed. So we went super organic. I had some leftover logs on our lot from um, Hurricane Michael. And then also we had some trees die and so we took them down and we're actually using them as the frame for the raised bed. And then these are just PVC pipes, the short, the skinny ones. That's going to be the trellis for my asparagus beans, which are right here. I'm really hoping this guy isn't too close. In hindsight, he probably is. So I'm going to shift him over a little bit farther over here. So there's my asparagus beans. That is a um, butternut squash and that little guy right there is my sugar pumpkins. So what else do we have in here? These are my tomatoes. So I got these seeds from Southern Seed Exchange and they are the Neptune variety and the Tropic variety. Supposedly they do really, really well down in this environment. You can see I haven't trimmed them yet. Um, I'm kind of waiting. I just transplanted everybody last weekend, so I'm kind of waiting to see if maybe one seems to thrive over the other. And then bell peppers, same thing. You can see they need to be kind of singled out a little bit. This came from a friend. This is um, salsify. And so supposedly they grow three feet high and they have a root that's really tasty. So we're experimenting. She had told me to leave the three in and I lost track and singled them out in the pot, but they seem to be doing just fine. So I may single, I may single out those two. Here I've got broccoli. I've got a ton of broccoli because that's Kevin's favorite. And then, let's see, that's, that's a dill right there that I transplanted. So I wasn't, I wasn't sure it would survive, but it looks like it is. And these little three guys are parsnips, and those came from my friend as well. And then I planted some carrot seeds in here last weekend. So this is kind of how it looks. It's 19 feet long. And, um, and then the only th thing we paid for was the soil, which was uh, $55 for a yard. And we had actually bought some fill dirt as well to fill in the pond see where that fountain is there used to be a pond there so we bought some filter so I mixed some of the filter in with the soil kind of um, let the let it spread a little farther so that's what we did anyway and then you can see we have a PVC pipe um, with the green poultry netting as the fence is it the prettiest no will it work yes so there you go Here's our new garden, our new raised bed garden. Oh, and I should mention that this little thing right here is our future pollinator garden. This is Kevin's garden, and so he's got, he has um, finally been able to put some seeds into peat pots for flowers, and we'll transplant those once they start coming up. <laughs> 